darkness fell, but the temperature didn't. How can it be this hot at midnight? How's that possible? Hammond, however, had more to worry about than the heat. Oh, what the f is that? Oh, there's something in here squeaking at me. I'm, 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 oh. Oh, oh what is that? Oh, f I can't stand that. I can't stand that. I've got to get out. Blasford Hammond insisted we made camp, where to cheer him up, I read some bedtime stories. This is a book about all the creatures that live in the rainforest that Mr Sting hasn't told us about. Would you like to hear about the Brazilian wandering spider? Not really, no. Causes around five human fatalities a year. Lives on the forest floor. What is that? Head torch. I'm looking for, well, what's it called? Wandering spider. Oh, the bot fly. Now, this is a marvellous thing. The bot fly cannot sting a human directly, but captures smaller insects, lays its larvae upon them, and then releases them. If the smaller host insect then bites the human, the bot fly larvae are impregnated into the skin. The larvae then pupates inside the skin, at which point they eat their way out and fly away. The BBC Natural History Unit reports the case of a man who was bitten behind the ear and kept awake at night by the sound of the botfly larva eating the flesh inside his head. Hammond didn't have a good night. What's that? Ah! Ah! Stick insect! So it's honestly, there's been things on my head. Oh, what is that? There's something just flew in my hair and it's squeaking at me. It's big. It's really big. <laughs> And to be honest, he didn't have a great morning either. Who has done this? To get away from the creepy crawlies, I sought refuge in my car. OK. Guys. Oh, well, there is a snake in your there, car. Yeah, there ah, go. He's coming so up there here. He's coming up here. Yep. It's known locally as the big vicious killer snake. Thanks. <laughs> 